we're back with another episode of Straight People, the podcast for straight people by queer people, because straight people don't have what? Enough. They don't have enough. You guys control fucking everything. You're in the news all the time. You never stop talking about sports. Straight people. We're doing it. Um, our guest this week, uh, we're so lucky he's in Atlanta um, visiting uh, his with his girlfriend. Um, so I just gave away that you're straight. Damn it. Oh, the big reveal. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Dave Ross, everybody. Dave <laughs> Hello. Ross. I'm already uh, laughing, man. Oh, I fucked it up. You're all no, no. Are you kidding? I, I mean, mean, it's not like it. It was pe- gonna come. People out. aren't tuning in to find out if you're straight. <laughs> or not. I know that for a fact. So. Yeah. No. How funny would that be if at 38 I hadn't told anyone e- one way or the other yeah. yet? Well, you'd be I, surprised I, how many people have come out as bisexual on this podcast. Oh, sure. And that's not what I started this for. Do you know what I'm saying? It was like yeah. this is for straight people. Don't be coming over here and trying to buy. <laughs> Up in my podcast, but um, well, Dave, welcome. How have you been? Doing good. I've been all right, man. Yeah. You know, past two years were perfect. Uh, <laughs> everything was good. No, I've been okay. I've been okay. I've been especially okay lately. Quarantine definitely um, hit me pretty hard. You know, uh, being <laughs> cap and fever. I mean, I already have all the you know your anxieties, your depressions, all that stuff, and being all cabin fevered was pretty bad. So coming out, I feel I'm good, man. I'm glad to be doing stand up. That's awesome. Yeah. How is how is stand up in the fine city of Los Angeles? It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Oh, give just... it a give it a letter grade. People like that. D minus. D minus. Wow. Yeah. I, I mean, always thought even before pandemic, some kind of there's some kind of like witch curse across the city of Los Angeles about stand up. Do you know what I mean? Cause like, yes. it should be amazing. That should be right. Well, I will, I will say it has been, yeah. and I also, and it can be, and it can be, yeah. and, and I it don't, will be, and it will be, and it, and then it is, won't be. And it probably is right now, honestly, but it per, great yeah. right now. But I never hear anybody like when I go, when I talk yeah. to someone from LA, I never hear, just a rave. Do you know what I'm sure. saying? Like nobody goes. Uh, like if you ask somebody from Atlanta who right. is like it, it gets booked regularly here, they're gonna be like, "Oh, Atlanta's amazing." Right. You know what I mean? They're never gonna stop talking about how great it is. But honestly, if you, uh, I, I feel a little bad having said that. For one, <laughs> I was exaggerating a little. Okay. Two, uh, you know, I've already said I'm 38. I'm just kind of a little mad in general. <laughs> you know, my back hurts and stuff. Yeah, 38 is how old I was when I started stand up. So oh, I just wow. want to point that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know. I started when I was 26, and nice. now I know 27 year olds that have been doing it 14 years or yeah. something crazy like that. <laughs> um, so, uh, no, but I started in LA, and I do love it there, and I have lived there for 20 years. And so I'm also just sort of feeling an itch to get some change and move a little. Yeah. But also, no, I don't feel as good lately about our comedy situation. I don't even want to say scene. There's a lot of cool people there that I yeah. love, a lot of funny people, so many. But if you had talked to me from 2009 to 2014, you would have heard me rave. I told people to move there. Yeah. I got up. I'm not even fucking with you 20, 25 times a week. Wow. Uh, a lot of those were mics with only comics in the room, yeah. of course, where I was doing three-minute sets. But yeah. you you know the deal. Yeah. Uh, you do what you got to do. Absolutely. And, uh, and so – but then, I don't know. Something happened. We got a lot more comedians. And I don't know anyone there that's getting the amount of stage time they want. Yeah. Even the people that are getting tons of it. Yeah. We get a lot of people coming through almost like yeah. doing, it's almost like stage time vacations here. Sure. Where they, they, yeah. They're not coming to make money. They're just coming here. It's like, they <laughs> uh-huh. know, like somebody lives here. And so they come for a week and they get booked on all the shows because they're not a towner. Yes. And we love in Atlanta to like, if you're a guest in our city, uh-huh. Uh, be our, you know, roll out the red carpet. Just but if shower you. you. But, but if you then move here, yes. so like if you come and visit and we take care of you, then when you move here, it's like back of the line. <laughs> Man, everywhere's like that. I'll actually never forget when I was young. Do you know a comic named Chuck Watkins? Uh, the name does sound familiar. I don't know if I know. He him. was around for a while. I um, I haven't seen him in a bit, but he's really really funny. And he he was an Austin guy, and out of Austin got. Live at Gotham, which you know was a TV show yeah. 500 years ago yeah. that uh, I loved. I, yeah. All those Comedy Central showcase stand-up shows, like I Premium love. Blend. Oh, and, I know what are they? Love them. I, I just don't understand why they don't. I guess that's all yeah. their online content now. Yes. Um, but we were just me and a couple other comics were talking the other day. It's like I watch all those too. Totally. And they're not. It's just not the same. I don't know. So I I I actually know very well the Comedy Central stand up people. They're yeah. like around shows in LA a lot, and they're dope, and they feel the same way. Yeah. And uh, so that's those uh, those online only ones that are called 
Comedy Central stand up featuring yeah. presents as the half hours, you know, yeah. and then the seven minute sets or five are yeah. called featuring. Yeah. That is them. He told Ryan Moran is his name. He's yeah. so dope. He has yeah. such great taste in comedy. He's so cool. Uh, I like really, really love the guy. And he was telling me like, yeah, I've been bothering them forever to let me do what I wanted. <laughs> and they just like, finally were like, you do this online thing. Yeah. And they, the comedy central stand up people completely produce it and no one messes with them. And that is, I think their equivalent now, the nice. digital only ones. Well, that's good to know. It that's is. Awesome. Yeah. It's cool. Well, I watch a lot of the ones that are like, like i all, Mike Mike Roland is at Atlanta Comedy. Oh, I love Mike and, and all his little ones that are on the cellar. Are uh, the and, yeah, this week yeah. at the cellar is a is a good equivalent yeah. to now. Yeah, and like yeah, I loved all of them, man. I liked Adam Devine's house party, which yep. was maybe the dumbest concept for a show ever. <laughs> uh, to, to force comedians to do their best jokes. Coupled with a sketch someone just wrote yeah. is very, <laughs> very funny. What about, were you involved at all in the one that they did on Vice? Remember the Flop, flop House? house? No. Yeah, yeah. I mean, knew like a lot of the LA yeah. people and, and Atlanta people. The and Atlanta one was such a mess. <laughs> was I mean, it? it? Well, they got everyone drinking super early in yeah. the day and then taped really late. And so it just... You know, and didn't feed anybody. So it was like drink, drink, wow. drink, 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 drink. And then like right before the show, I think like some pizza showed up. So just the, I mean, people, and, it's, the and, it's, and it. it's like hot. It's like hot outside. And so everyone's just like that kind of crazy, like middle of the summer. You've been right. drinking draft beer to hydrate all day. Um, level of drunk. And yeah. <laughs> the concept of the show, right, was the like, I think that Lance wanted it to be like decline of Western civilization, but for comedians. Uh, yeah, I can see that. Like the, I went to one of the LA tapings and like Spike Jones was giving tattoos yeah, in yeah. the bedrooms. Yeah, and there was like a uh, rap battle. John Michael the... Bond's uh, Emily was giving tattoos. <laughs> like it was the same. Yeah, yeah. And that, like as if that was what we were doing. Right, all the time at that venue. Yeah, absolutely. yeah, yeah. It was, it was so funny. There was like in Claire O'Kane's bedroom, they were shooting bow and arrow, or no, in the garage. <laughs> They were shooting a bow and arrow at the wall. Yeah. And I was like, these people like work in cubicles. <laughs> like what <laughs> We're just nothing but like just rab scallion. Yeah, dude. We're um, all fifteen. Like, like yeah, Lost Boy. Snorting Coke yeah, all the time. Exactly. Yeah. I just love it. Well, it, that the one for Atlanta ended with like um, I can't remember who it was, but they were smashing beer cans on their head. And I'm yeah. like, that's the opposite of what our I mean, our scene it is sort of that, but it's like, I don't know. It was just a very much of like Atlanta came off very like it's a white bro scene, y'all. Oh, and um, that it's not what it is. And at especially all. now, it's not that at all. I mean, it yeah. is not that is not the vibe. But um, speaking of straight people, oh uh, yeah, I was truly try, like I was. I was just about to try to bring it back. Okay, I mean, smashing a beer can on your head—that like is the exaggeration. Yeah, like. That's what that's what I'm terrified people yeah. think I am by looking at me. You but know they had I mean? them do so many takes of it <laughs> really? that I learned that there's a cheat to it. So it's like you're not really smashing. You're actually crushing the beer can with your hand as you as you smash a, it. One of the people knew that. The other one wow. didn't know that. And they're and just banging. And it probably had given themselves a concussion by because they did like five takes of it. So it was like, oh man, um, it was Dave Stone and oh, I can't remember the other person. But anyways, Dave Stone knew how to do it. That's and funny. he was fine. And he was like, okay, tell me it was Andy Sanford. No, just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to imagine like who else would be with Dave? Jared Harris. Just trying um, to... I can't remember. That's it was a, it's a comic who doesn't do stand up anymore, so I can't okay. remember. Exactly. It might have been Austin Shard. I don't remember. But anyways, yeah. it was hilarious because it was like Paul it, we were all kind of like everyone who was in the scene at the time is like in a semicircle behind the cameraman <laughs> watching these two guys do this over and over and over again. And we're all just like looking at each other like, OK, I can't wait to see this episode. Um, wow, funny. <laughs> well, you can you can find that um, online, I'm sure, somewhere. Oh yeah, if, it's probably if you're on Viceland. Interested, yeah, if you're an interested party. It what's funny is that like every comedian they showcased is great. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's funny, like and the and I love the one because like the Claro Kane was that if that it was like Solomon Giorgio, yeah, was, like, the, a good, the, James Austin Johnson, yeah. Eric Dorian. Yeah, 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 that was yeah. a great episode, and all those yeah. guys are hilarious. Yeah. Um, but uh, let's pivot back. Let's pivot sure. back because usually by now I've 
gotten your story of straightness. <laughs> um, uh-huh. So you're 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 a straight person. Yeah. yeah? I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah, with yeah, an yeah. apology. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Some people just come in defiant about it, and I'm like, fuck that. <laughs> no. Um, it's very brave of you to to say that you're straight in yeah. the modern in the modern day. I know. Um, <laughs> so you're born straight, whole and complete. The whole system set up for you, sure. for the most part, uh-huh. right? And then. At some point, as a straight person, you find out that gay exists. Uh huh. Because you, you're not truly straight until you know that there's like another. <laughs> op- Do you know what I'm saying? Like you can't. You oh, can't be, sure. You can't be good without evil. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> you can't be pure without nastiness. So, okay. Um, <laughs> so when did you? What like? What was your? Did you? Did you know a gay person? Did you see something gay? Uh, like uh, like something about gay people on TV. Uh, gay slurs, you know what I mean? Everyone has a yeah. different access point. Honestly, I think gay slurs were yeah. my introduction to the concept of homosexuality yeah. at all. Yeah. And then what happened was uh, I was called that slur constantly and a lot for a while <laughs> in high school. Um, and, uh, and then I, like, honestly, my identity in high school was basically I'm gay. Okay. Because everyone was like, you're gay. Okay. And uh, like I, I went to a pretty rough and tumble high school, I felt like. Uh, um, pause? What does that mean? Well, like I went to I, – I grew up in Orange County, New York. Okay. Um, which is a place that does not have a lot of money. Okay. And is – lives – in the shadow of New York City. It's like... Okay, a, so rough and tumble being from a lower socioeconomic... And aggressive because it's in New York, yeah. but not in New York City. It's so like, like a toxically masculine... Yeah, 100%. Working class, blue collar, rust yeah. belt baby. And also just a place that did actually, in a very real sense, fall on hard times starting yeah. in the 70s or 80s. Yeah. And so... And um, and I shouldn't say in the shadow of New York City because it's an hour away, but it has. You're just a visual storyteller, so that's why you say that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I mean, really, like if you think about being in New York and having the cultural identity of New York, but not yeah, all ninety of the minutes away, yeah, yeah, exactly. of New York City, yeah. it can frustrate you. Yeah. And so there's a lot of people that commuted there. Anyway, it was an you know the the tone of New York. It was a very aggressive, angry place. I feel like you lived in a Billy Joel song. I lived I've in, been thinking about the song Allentown the whole time you've been talking about it. Oh, man. Yeah, but I wouldn't <laughs> give... I'm very defensive of it yeah. because people shit on it a lot. Yeah. But but it, there wasn't a lot of romance. It was yeah. like... um Like, literally, there was a guy I went to high school with who was walking down the street one day in my town with only one traffic light, no grocery store, 3,000 people that didn't have its own high school. Yeah. He, ran, he came across two people that sort of knew him. One of them called him a name. He told him to fuck off. They beat him up so bad he has a plate in his head now. Oh, wow. That's what I mean yeah. by rough and tumble. Like yeah. literally um, old mafia energy. Well, I just mean yeah. that rough and tumble is like the most precious way that you could describe I'm that. I'm trying to be Do you know what I mean? Yeah, totally. You're like, oh, well, this guy ended up with a plate in his I head. I'm like, well, then you're bruising. the one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're the one who calls it. Like rough and tumble <laughs> makes it sound like, you know. Uh, West, Side West Side Story, story. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, uh, so, so you, I was gay for being in gay. band, yeah. for being in theater, okay. for liking punk rock, for dyeing my hair oh, red. So you were asking for it, is the, way my, <laughs> the way my mom would say. Uh, sure, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's very funny. Like I, I. So you just were a different. You were just. You were just like. Artistic, basically. Sure. Yeah. Well, I'll also say this. Like, I, if we're like talking about, uh, we don't really need to get in the, into this on the, the the straight people podcast necessarily. But I always have felt like these sexuality and gender spectrums are real, yeah. and on those spectrums, I feel I do feel and identify a bit more feminine than it seems like other yeah. straight people do. Yeah. And same with my sexuality. Yeah. And. Uh, I would. I don't identify as gay or bi, yeah. but I definitely am and do feel a little more feminine. So let me and, ask uh, you this then. Um, so, uh, what about queer? So sometimes the, there are, are straight people who identify as queer in the sense that they're not gay and their yeah. their sexuality is not. They're not gay or bi, but they're also not like a part of conventional yeah. straight society in the sense that they don't have the same mores and values. <sighs> And so they identify as, and some gay people hate it. I love it. I think it's hilarious. I think it's, I'm like, that, I'm, you're queer straight. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, see but, that, that, 
reality mm. is what gives me pause about it. Yeah. I, I would say that I could and I would, yeah. except that I haven't had any version of struggle except for what I just told you, like yeah. those bullies. Yeah. So like, and that's not the same thing. Yeah. So like, sure. Well, it's I, like the jo the jokes mm -hmm. are always with the gay mm -hmm. comics is that we talk about like a like so somebody in your position who they people thought you were gay uh -huh. and then oh no then you had to grow up and be straight how terrible like that's the worst <laughs> like so you don't even get the fun part of it you yes, know what I mean yes, you yes. just get the punishment right. you know for being different and then you grow up and you're just normal do you know what I mean it's I know, like you I'm thought you yeah you thought you were gonna be I showed up in a forerunner yeah, today yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you showed up in more car than I ever thought it's I, so big what like, is it with it's my Dave girlfriend's Ross car brand is not a big car but I don't know what it is about but tiny, your, tiny your women. car I love it tiny women have huge cars yeah but I don't know what that is yeah. I mean I guess it's sort of like maybe it's just who drives in your relationship she does really all yeah, the time yeah. all the time interesting yeah mm. and I honestly would press her yeah because I like to drive yeah but she I'm not even kidding you if she's not driving gets car sick no matter what <laughs> and so I'm not gonna you know yeah I don't want her to be car sick obviously Payne I he drives yeah. primarily in our relationship um because he's terrified to drive with me and then on the very <laughs> rare occasions that he does let me drive everything I do he's like oh, oh. so oh, like then funny. I'm even like a worse driver because of it totally <laughs> I had a girlfriend that was like that once that was so terrified that I would like hit the brakes a lot yeah and it made it just validated her uh f her like I would say false opinion that I'm a bad driver because she was constantly <laughs> grabbing me. It sucked because it would just prove her right. Oh man. It's so it was like things. a self-fulfilling. It's like a, exactly. Wow. So she would cause the conditions to that's well, the so thing you is would, that like, so, when, so when other people are in the car, are you a bad driver? Cause that's I, how I am. If I'm distracted. If I am, uh, this is true for me. I think I would say across my entire life, if I'm self-conscious about something, I'm really bad at it. Yeah. If I'm not, I I'm fine or whatever level of at, at yeah. it I am. Oh, interesting. But um, but yeah, no self-consciousness, insecurity, because I have like really intense anxiety. Yeah. And I've learned to um mask it. I I I have learned that about myself. Like in to me. I look like a cowering little shaky sapling all the time uh, because I'm just always filled with this, whatever that emo that like chemical is that makes yeah. you worried. Like yeah. it's teeming yeah. in me. Um, but I don't think I read that way, which is funny because I really am. So if you, it's true with stand up too. Like um, I have really bad performance anxiety uh, after doing stand up so much, I've sanded it down a lot. Yeah. But if you like, like, crank the pressure knob even a little yeah i go overboard i yeah. um i've had pan so many panic attacks on stage really yeah Ooh. i did late night once i yeah. had a panic attack most of that set oh wow <laughs> i had to like go off uh stage everyone was like wow great and i was like uh and i'm like i was like does anyone have a bag and i went <laughs> off onto the roof of the cbs building and breathed into a fucking bag <laughs> before i went and had a drink inside wow so yeah no totally if uh I I'm like, I would say I'm a good driver. Yeah. The problem is would that anyone agree with you? That's the question. I do. Yes, I do think people agree with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think people would. And well, I don't know what it's like here, but I think in generally in big cities you have to drive aggressively to be safe. Mm -hmm. You have to speed Absolutely. up onto the highway. Yeah. And so this was my ex girlfriend's problem was she can't handle aggressive driving at all. Yeah. So she would be like, slow down, slow down, slow down, and that would like make me panic. Yeah. But then I'm like merging wrong and I have to speed up again. Yeah. And then that makes her panic and oh my god. And then I would get mad and be like, stop telling me what to do. And then that would. Like raise the blood pressure in the oh wow. man. So that relationship was bad. We're friends. I mean, that's we're what I'm saying. Friends. I'm like, wow, yeah. that, she sounds like a keeper. Um, <laughs> She's great. Have now. you ever she been? In, a... Have you ever been in the car, like in the back seat, when uh, when two people in the front are doing that? Oh, is that what you're just... <laughs> What a nightmare. <laughs> I also really you I learn don't... a lot about people, like the the driving dynamic. Like to me, like totally. the that the women drive all the time usually is a good indicator that the guy's gonna be cool. Oh, <laughs> funny. <laughs> or yeah, yeah, yeah. he has a DUI. One of the two. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And usually that's pretty cool to me, so I don't know. 
Um, okay, it seems like I, we've really touched a point with you with driving. You have a lot to say. I in, guess so. In defense of your own driving. I guess I am wow. a little insecure about my driving. That's wow. interesting. I want to get your girlfriend on here and we're going to talk about Oh, you driving. would love her. She's the best. She hope, thinks my driving's fine. I hope you guys had a good time the other night. Um, we did. Good, good, good. I wasn't able to make any more room in the, oh, in the oh, no. uh, club for you. I couldn't. Oh, I couldn't. Yeah. Um, Warp reality. I've brought it up and bend every day space since. And time to I feel add so, two more chairs to the room. I feel so bad you, about this. But, um, I'm glad that that wasn't a uh, sticking point. Did this point really? Uh, I didn't make even you feel bad. I didn't even notice because okay. people ask me dumb shit like that all the fucking time. Okay. Not that that's that dumb, but you know what I mean. Like it was it, dumb. just in relation to the club. I get asked. I, just think about the. Like I could talk about booking requests, but I don't want to. Um, but sure. Oh, I mean, I, I read. Even. I read one today where I was just like. Ugh. You know what I mean? Like it's it's like it's sad because then I right. have to like, communicate with this person. Oh man, I'm so I can't. Um, so it's not it's not a big deal. To give deal some though. context yeah. to your li- we we sh- might as well tell the oh, story. Oh sure, sure. I at the I had messaged Ian asking if I could get my girlfriend and her friend in, and he kindly said yes. And if it sells out, we'll just watch in the viewing area. And then when I got there, she and I were sitting in the viewing area, and she was like. She was like, oh, is it sold out? I would really love to watch the show from sitting out there. And then Ian came up and told me it was sold out. And literally without <laughs> even thinking, I was like, I said, is there any, is there no more room to put out chairs? And you just looked at me and were like, no, no, no. And then very nicely was like, yeah, no, it's like a full room with like a lot of table. And I was like, oh, okay. And then like you walked away and then like a few minutes walked by. And my girlfriend was like, I think that was rude. And I was like, I didn't mean, I wasn't thinking. And then I just like, because here's the thing. there are, I, I was mortified, truly. I felt terrible. Yeah. And, the, and it's for a very specific reason that it, this is a perfect place for me to tell you while I'm smacking your microphone. <laughs> I am a straight cis white guy who lives in Los Angeles and has been on TV a couple times. Yeah. I am so scared that I'm going to seem entitled. Oh, I got you. Uh, yeah, that I'm yeah. going to show up in Atlanta at a club I was kindly booked at uh, <laughs> by a gay comic whose comedy I love and just be like, why don't you give my fucking girlfriend two chairs, huh? I just never, I'm so scared of seeming like that. That's so funny. Because I, uh, I didn't understand you were like apologizing. Like, I don't even know what you're apologizing. No, it's definitely a bad insecurity of mine. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> but also, I'm like the. Like, I'm not going to, I don't know. I'm somebody who's like, yeah, that's not going to happen. Like, I'm sure. okay. You know, like, <laughs> good I'm so you. good. Yeah, I'm yeah. so easy with a no on those kinds good, of things. Good, I don't know. Good. But it was funny. But okay. So we're going over my usual recorded time. Hey, but you've okay. been so good at this. I'm talking, so man. Great. I'm real talky. All right. So we're going to pivot and I'm going to ask you some questions. Got it. About quote unquote straight <laughs> culture. I can't wait. Okay. Um, <laughs> And uh, and then you just, to the best of your ability, represent every straight person who's ever existed. You got it. And um, will ever exist. Mm-hmm. Um, if we haven't, <laughs> we're talking about like bred it out of the system by now. Like if the back to if the Hammurabi. Plastic, yeah, like, uh, if okay. the plastic water balls haven't made everyone bisexual <laughs> yet, but the, we're, we're working on it. Um, is that a yeah? Is somebody, that a Christian somebody, myth? somebody somebody was saying to me that they, that their family doesn't drink out of plastic mm-hmm. water bottles because they say that the 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 it releases the plastic wow. releases gases that then turn people bisexual. It's so funny. And I was like, if it was that simple, but there are so many bisexuals now. So I don't know. I mean, maybe there are or something. Like yeah. Just always were. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, okay. So, uh, starting uh, my favorite, one of my favorite questions is why do straight men draw dicks on everything? <laughs> Damn man. You know what? I even like I've told everything I've told you, right? Is it like I felt a little other in my school? I yeah. feel a little softer. Yeah. I feel separate. I, uh, but also, you know, whatever. But I, I, what I'm, my point is, I want to say to you right now <laughs> yeah. that I, as a person who, though I'm a straight white guy, I feel a little feminine. I have a lot of gay friends. You know what I mean? I, mm-hmm. I want to, uh, the world to be broader and my have grandmother so much would more. call you fruity, fruity, fruity. I but wish anyways. I want to be fruity, fruity, fruity. No, you can be straight and fruity. Even though that's the case. I want to tell you that I don't draw dicks on everything. Okay. Dave and Ross, yet I I'm going to have to stop. <laughs> okay. 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 I was uh, like, you're not answering my question. I'm this. Okay. My point is I so badly want to be the guy that 
never drew dicks on anything, but yeah. probably until but 2018. But the question is, why do men draw dicks on the things? I know. I don't Not, have an answer. Okay. I am the guy, right. and I don't know why. Yeah. It's just in our brains, man. Yeah. We just Because, like, lesbians don't go around drawing pussies on everything. Sure. You know what I'm saying? And gay guys, I don't think that we're doing it. Well, like, if we draw a dick, it's like, you know, uh -huh. an illustration. Do you know what I mean? Like, we put the details in, and I it's don't... got a foreskin, the whole deal. You know what I mean? I think drawing dicks on everything is maybe similar to, like, like fart jokes and poop jokes. And just, like, it's just sort of, like, a very base. The first thing you think is funny is yeah. the thing that you were told is a little taboo. Okay. Right? Yeah. That's my guess. Yeah. Just like we hide our dicks. We're all, you don't show your dick. Yeah. I mean, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, and and so you're like, ah, I drew one. You can't get me. Yeah. I, I, I make the rules. That kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, why do straight men piss in Gatorade bottles? I mean, oh, and we're sponsored by Gatorade, but I know Gatorade Zero. In Can the, I keep this in the little bottles? You can't piss in. That's what you do. Every time I see a Gatorade bottle, I think about this, the uh, Winslow Dumain. Do you know him? He's a comedian. Yes. Yeah, he has uh, of the many things he makes and sells that I like. The most known is he has a sticker that says Gatorade should be thicker, <laughs> which I think about all the time. Uh, but anyway. <sighs> I didn't piss in a Gatorade bottle until I was a comedian. I can yeah. tell you why comedians do it yeah. because we're always late, like yeah. I was today. Yeah. <laughs> and you got to get to a, you're driving eight hours yeah. and you have like bottles laying around. Yeah. Here's my fucking question actually. Why are there so many people? I don't know anyone, anyone who's not a straight guy who does this, uh, who when they piss in the Gatorade bottle, they leave it in their car. That's crazy to me. Yeah. So I don't know. I, 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 it lateness is my only answer. I yeah. wish I had like a more dude-ish. Why do you think the Gatorade people make the bottles wide enough to stick a dick in? It's really another question for me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, if, well, Gatorade. Like they is gotta it, know. They gotta know people are pissing in the bottles, right? They Gatorade's Coca-Cola, right? Uh, do they make it here? I don't know. Because you know could walk down to that fucking factory and be like, "Why did you make this bottle?" Easy for me to fuck. Oh, I can just go up to the window where they take yeah, questions. Yeah, exactly. The right? question window. Well, at they've the got Coca -Cola a I, I, go to the, I could go to the <laughs> I could go to the Coca Cola Museum and perhaps they have a yeah. Um, they have a whole. Do you know wing. In, <laughs> Do you know in uh, in Florida? Oh, they make Powerade actually. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. In Florida, they make uh, they call Gatorade um, sour mix. So is that true? No, I'm just. I didn't get the. <sighs> sorry. You don't get the. Okay. I don't get the joke. No. It's, the original Gatorade was lemon lime. It was created at FSU. You're not Southern. Why am I even yeah, doing this? Sorry. You didn't. So... Know, you don't know the the. I knew the, the history story. of Gatorade. <laughs> Jesus. I, I knew the thing that they like needed something at a you football game. I want. I want to call you a gay slur at this point. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, okay. I get that a lot. Let's rail through. Yeah. Let's rail. Okay. So these don't require. <laughs> Um, the deep analysis that you've been providing for some of these questions. Okay. These are just like... Okay, you want me the, to bang through them. Okay, okay, uh, okay, okay. 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 So, gay or straight? So, okay. this is, does this belong to gay culture or straight culture? Okay. And knowing, wow. knowing you, bisexual culture, or asexual culture, whichever you... Okay. you okay. Sure. okay, paintball. Oh, yeah, straight culture. Straight. Laser tag. Oh, I would actually say straight culture. Yeah, it yeah. sounds gay, though, it doesn't sounds it? sounds gay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, football. American football. Uh, uh, straight culture. Uh, flag football. You know, also straight culture. Yeah. Yeah, because it's still football. I'm going to need you to sit on your hands, please. I um, keep yeah. smacking the, uh, what's this called? The, like, uh, I don't even know. Pop yeah, diffuser or whatever? Yeah, it's something. The diffuser. Perhaps? I gesticulate. What okay. can I say? <laughs> um, a lot of act outs uh, yeah. at the podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, on stage, I stand still. <laughs> <laughs> uh, softball. Softball. Well, that's gay, but lesbian specifically, right? Fast I mean, pitch softball. Oh, maybe that. Maybe softball is straight culture, and fast pitch softball is gay culture. Yeah, I love an underhanded pitch, man. <laughs> Gets me all excited. Yeah. Um, roller skating. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Gay culture. Gay, right? It's, I'm not providing the answer. I here. see. This is a test for you're, you. I, you're trying to. 
you're trying to trap me. I get it. Is yeah. that what people think? Is that <laughs> no, oh no, 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 no. What, what am I trapping you in? Is what I want to know. A fear or to can't fear I, that I'm a bad all just person. To you? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, finally, <laughs> after all this time, I bet you once, <laughs> and I've been thinking this whole time, how am I going to get Dave Ross? <laughs> okay, um, rollerblading. Oh man, straight. Okay, uh, bucket hats. Straight. Yeah. Tiny top hats. Tiny top hats are not even a thing I've seen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there is a thing. Like, you've ever not seen someone wearing a top hat, and then they take the top hat off, and then they've got a tiny top hat on? Is that not, like, a thing that straight people know about? No. Okay. Is, that a, is that a thing uh, in, like, a big thing in gay I mean, culture that I'm I mean, not of? necessarily just gay culture, but it's definitely a thing, and gay people love it. It's like it. a dandy type yeah, thing? Okay. It's like a, it's From like the a, 19th it's century? It's like a reveal. Do you know what I mean? Sure. Are, are you familiar with RuPaul's Drag Race at all? I mean, I know, it, I know the show, but well, I they, haven't watched they, it. Sometimes on the runway, they'll do like a like, oh, I'm in one outfit, but now I'm in another outfit. Uh-huh. A reveal. Oh, oh sometimes I see. it's a double reveal. Sometimes it's a triple reveal. Is there sometimes, ever a tiny top hat? Sometimes. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So, you have an answer for that or no? You I mean, gay. gay. I'll okay. say gay. Yeah. You, you're just like. You're minded. I, you didn't realize that top hats came in tiny. I guess is I it? didn't realize that there was like a, a like a Russian doll version of yeah. top hats. A little bit. No, I'm just learning about it right now. Okay. So uh, um, yeah. lemonade, lemonade. I mean, I feel like lemonades for everybody. Okay. Beyonce's lemonade. Oh yeah, that's straight. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mike's hard lemonade. Oh wow, you disagreed with that so hard. Uh, that was. I wish I could have shown you his That's face. That's why we don't film this. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay. You know why I said? You know what? I don't need. No, to. No, let's roll back. I want to hear. Because every straight woman in my life was like yes yeah that's true that's fair. <laughs> and i that's was like fair. that album sucks yeah um, what you oh, didn't I, like it yeah wow and you know what i i, I don't I, have to cancel you dave you just canceled <laughs> yourself you don't talk about bay that way i'm sorry to put okay, it out there i'm sorry wow. i mean maybe the here's the dave thing. ross hates beyonce here's oh my god i do and you could tell her i said that okay I'm a Solange this man. is the po- I, uh, whoa <laughs> At least you weren't like you weren't like Michelle Williams or something. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Do you know who Michelle Williams is? No, from Dawson's Creek. Oh, Jesus <laughs> yes, I know who Michelle are Williams sweet. is. She's in. She's one of the Destiny's Child women. The right? Destiny's yeah. Children. Yeah. Yeah. She's the Destiny's least. Destiny's Children. She's the least. She's the youngest. Destined. She's the least destined of all. No. So she's more. She's from Destin, Florida, more than Destiny's Child. But, okay. Oh, okay. All right. I so I would say I didn't I, I didn't necessarily hate the music on Lemonade, but I did really dislike Lemonade okay. because to me, it's so it's such an obvious money grab. Okay. Like Jay Z and Beyonce are two of the most famous people on earth. Mm-hmm. He cheated on her. She made an album about it that became one of the most popular albums of all time. Yeah. This is not about a breakup. This is about money. Okay. Your two corporations. So do you feel <laughs> the same way about Taylor Swift then? Uh, yeah, I feel the same way about Kanye. I feel okay. like it's all window dressing. Yeah. I just feel like, sure, enter- be entertainment. Some of it I think is funny. Some of so it I think, think is So you don't think the Mountain Ghost, which is the t-shirt that you're wearing mm-hmm. right now, that somebody in that band has written a song about somebody that they broke up with? I absolutely think that's the yeah. case. And But, but I don't... You, this, oh, wait. You don't, oh, but you don't think they've ever done that? No. The but Mountain Ghost, have. definitely. Yeah. No, 100%. Yeah. I don't hate the idea of someone writing a song about a breakup. Okay. I sort of scoff at the idea that two famous people didn't arrange their own situation in order uh, to make money. So you say that there's some shenanigans. I think it's manufactured. Some shenanigans. They were tweeting about it. Tomfoolery, as my yeah. mother would say. I think that if she were really broken up about it, she wouldn't have made it public. Yeah. They would have dealt with it so behind what closed do you th- doors. What do you think? Ha- what, what, what do you think Solange... And since you have so many opinions about all this, uh-huh. and Jay Z were fighting about in the man, elevator. that elevator video is crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure some of it was real. I just don't believe any of this shit. I just yeah. don't think, um, you know, vaccines. I don't believe any. You know, I don't know. I'm, I'm kidding, obviously. Uh, I just kind of when so much of it's just so much of it's performative. Yeah. Um, that so like, you think it, well, and you've lived in Los Angeles for twenty years, yeah, yeah. So you get probably to see a little bit of the, sure. I mean, up, up front the a lot fakery. of it does seem dubious yeah, to me. Yeah. Like I, social media so is the best think, example. Do you think Britney's like she's just fine? Nothing's wrong with her at all. <laughs> no, she seems to be having a very, very, very hard time. No, don't get me wrong. I think that the these people have real problems. That's yeah. the other thing. I think celebrities are real people. I don't think that they owe us anything. Yeah. Um, but I do think like. 
like the best example is Kanye and Taylor Swift yeah. that like years ago when yeah. he like ran up on stage, everyone acted like that was a big deal. And I was just like, shut up. <laughs> like who can't, they're too, <laughs> this was clear. Even if they didn't plan that, yeah. they both are happy it happened. Well, and they both benefited. Yeah. yeah. Well, some would say that, that like white culture sort of vilified Kanye in that moment and that he took something Oh, this away from, I don't know. Yeah. I've, oh, I've heard that before. Oh, okay. I um, the, idea, the, the idea that, like, you know, that he wouldn't have done that to a black woman or he okay. wouldn't have done that to, you know, whatever To a guy. Yeah, or to a guy, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That it was okay. all about that she was, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Um, that, that, that makes sense. But then also she's like... But she's a superstar. And she was raised rich, so it's not like, you know, <laughs> yeah. she'll be okay, you know? Like, go hug some money. You'll be fine. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, okay, let's see. <laughs> this is gonna be the longest episode ever. Hey, that's fine. Okay, but we're gonna rail through. Let's see how let's far we, how far we get before you got a you have a manifesto. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm a, okay. I, yeah, that's what I do that. French toast. French toast. I mean, I don't know. There are things you sort of scoff at the notion that that should belong to one sexuality or the well, other. Well, I scoff at the notion that anything should belong to any sexuality. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, it, this is tough for me because this is the premise of my podcast, which the other I day know. you said was brilliant. It is brilliant. And now it's you're just hard for doing me. it. You're like, I don't like this. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just sort of Please like no one cancel Dave Stone or Dave Stone. Please don't get cancel Dave Ross for any of his opinions on. French don't cancel toast. Dave Stone either. Yeah. Well, um, Dave Stone. I'm just kidding. Sure, cancel him. <laughs> Fuck him. No, dude. he'll he's he has one of my favorite having a podcast. Yeah, um, he has oh, one I of my favorite. He has a joke about where he he worked at a Longhorn and uh, Longhorn Steakhouse, and when they would run out of baked potatoes, someone would go eighty six baked potatoes, and he'd go, "That's a lot of baked potatoes." And he was like, and they all fucking hated me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I haven't seen him. I haven't seen Dave in like years. Have yeah. you seen? I love him. He comes through. A, I feel like I was on a show with him like in Greenville. Maybe yeah. two or three years ago, but I, he, he comes hard. through. Yeah, he comes through the southeast a bunch. Yeah. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. French, French toast. Okay, French that's gay. Toast. Let's call that gay. <laughs> now he's not even trying, guys. Okay, no, um, av- no, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> avocado toast. Avocado toast, man. The thing is that that's a thing that culturally I think you would say is gay because it's like hipper. Yeah, and it's you know not. American food that you get at Cracker Barrel or whatever, yeah. but I would say it's straight. Okay, being in LA, it's straight as hell. Yeah, right. Yeah, um, I just like the idea that somebody was like, "I invented this," and it's like, "It's no. just toast." Yeah, you just put <laughs> shit on toast. Okay, champagne toast. Oh, I don't even know what that is. So, like, when you're like, "Ting," with oh, a champagne toast. Yeah. Um, oh, it was yeah. wordplay. That's gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah sorry. <laughs> um, uh, poodles. Poodles are gay. Yeah. Okay. All poodles. Yeah. Uh, fr- French bulldogs. <laughs> French bulldogs are gay also. Okay. Um, They're like bears. My- mountain climbing. <laughs> mountain climbing is... I'd say that's also gay. Okay. Yeah. Social climbing. Social climbing is straight. Okay. Nice. <laughs> um, uh, silver dollar pancakes. Hmm. That's tough. Cause I, hmm, yeah, I'd say they're straight. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Some of them I don't even know. I just put them in there just to see what people say. I just um, think silver dollar pancakes are weird. And yeah. Dumb. Well, they're like for little for children probably. Oh sure. Like a little small hand, like tiny person, like a tiny. Yeah. Like I couldn't possibly eat a whole pancake just giving me a silver dollar. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't like pancake like size nipples. Like that's where it gets really. Yes. Cool. Um, biscuits. Biscuits. I I think biscuits. Even if we're kidding. Have got to go to everybody. Okay. Biscuits are like the They're great pan, unifier. Like pansexual? I don't know anyone who doesn't like biscuits. Yeah. Really? No, I don't know if I've ever met anyone. Like, that's the main... So you've never been at breakfast with someone and they're like, would you like a biscuit or toast? And they're like, toast. I don't think so. And you're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Maybe <laughs> if someone was like really worried about their weight or something. But I don't, they always want Why are you one. looking at me when you say that? I don't even... <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, final. This is the final of okay. this category. Okay. And then we've got seven more categories. I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then I have one final question for you. Uh, beignets. Oh, beignets. Hmm. Beignets are straight. Okay. You would think they would be gay. Yeah. Uh, because it's like an unconventional thing. Yeah. And Americans rail against being French as yeah. the French are more feminine. Yeah. And there's so much sugar. But it's in New Orleans, you yeah. know, where frat boys go to be yeah. fucking idiots. And so. donuts are gayer because they got a hole in the sick. Yeah, so. totally. So, so you can fuck them. Yeah. Fuck yeah. The donut. yeah. Okay. 
Great job, super job. Thank you uh, so still, much. I'm canceled. Based on my based on my score, you are not canceled. <laughs> oh and wow, you're fantastic! Still straight. Oh, uh, let me ask. Oh, sorry, <laughs> you're not canceled, and you're still <laughs> straight. straight. Yikes! Right. I know it's like the worst of all outcomes. Um, okay, so you're at a wedding. This uh-huh. is my final question. Okay. You're at a, not your wedding. Okay, like a friend of a friend. Uh-huh. Okay, Maybe a friend of your girlfriend's because she's from here, right? Yes. She, okay, so that's even better. It's like a southern. You're in a barn. Okay. Um, uh, you're drinking out of a mason jar <laughs> uh-huh. that has the name of the couple written on it, and like in a sharpie, it's like sure. th- it's like they threw their own wedding without a planner. Ugh. Okay, and they they don't have a cake; they got cupcakes. Okay, and you have to frost them yourself. It's yeah. fucking ridiculous. Okay, <laughs> and uh, and the father daughter song plays. So the father of the bride and the bride, they dance. Uh huh. What song are they dancing to? Oh wow. Um, I don't know. I want to fuck you like an animal by Nine Inch Nails. <laughs> uh, okay. No, I don't know what it. What would that be? It's like, what's the first? I guess the first song that comes to mind is like, "Endless Love," <laughs> but that's not right. That's not what it would be. By Diana Ross and Lionel Richie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, when a man loves a woman, but that's not like what I'm. I don't know what the father daughter dance would be. Okay. I don't know. Well, if you ever have a daughter, you need to have an answer. So. Yeah, totally. Um, okay, so your answer officially is I well, we'll take nine inch nails. That's a great Yeah. I'm gonna make a playlist one day of all the songs that people have said. And that does it also the, tells the you. The number a lot one about... answer is butterfly kisses, by the way, just so uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. And then that Life is a Highway song. <laughs> um, and then someone said walking in Memphis one time, which I thought was really good. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> right. Um, in my, right. uh, my high school, my scumbag high school, uh, the rough uh, and tumble, the rough and tumble, yeah. West side story, jets and sharks <laughs> high school that created a bunch of scumbags in, of which I am one, yeah. uh, our, I'm not even kidding you. So it's in orange County, New York. Another thing that's in orange County is West point. Okay. Of and, the military academy. Yeah, yep. totally. And I graduated with 85 other kids. And uh, it's like a 40-minute drive from us, but our prom was at one of the West Point ballrooms. Okay. (laughs) And uh, our principal's name was Carmine Antonelli. And in the bathroom of the West Point ballroom, somebody spray-painted Antonelli sucks. (laughs) And then also our, our class song that... You know, the song they play, yes. I think they played it at graduation, but it was also like the last song of prom yeah. was You and Me, Baby Ain't Nothing But Mammals by the Bloodhound Gang. <laughs> that song about yeah. fucking. Yeah, yeah. That was our class song. Wow. Yeah. I think my, that might have something to do with why I said I want to fuck you like an animal. Okay. From right. Nine Inch Nails. Wow. I don't think that's the name of that song, though, either. Though. No, it's called... Uh, closer? The, closer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, cool. Well, Dave, yeah. tell people where they can find you and where they should listen to you and um, watch you and purchase you and any of those kinds of things. Uh, my website is davetotheross.com, D-A-V-E-T-O-T-H-E-R-O-S-S.com. And uh, I'm at Dave to the Ross on Instagram. And honestly, I got – I have stuff – I have albums that cost money. I have podcasts that are free. I have merch that costs money. My social media is free. Uh, anything – any way that you want to consume my stuff or share it or – or absorb it is supportive, and I would. What's the name it. of your podcast with Caleb? Oh, it's called What's It Called? What's It Called? With uh, yeah, it's <laughs> myself and an Atlanta comic, yep. Caleb Sinan, who I met for the first time at the Laughing Skull when that motherfucker was nineteen and already funny. Right? Ugh, That's what a hilarious. dick. Well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he was sort of like just baked ready. You know what I mean? Like the yeah. first time I ever saw. Well, the first time I ever saw him, he'd probably been doing stand for like a year or two. Sure. So he was like. Oh my! You know, yeah, exactly. It was like, oh did, shit. Did y'all start about the same time? Um, I started after him. Okay, but he w- I feel like it was about. He was about two years in. Okay. Yeah, and I started super late, so it was like. Yeah. I mean, it took me like three years to learn how to. I mean, I I knew how to write a joke. Yeah. It took me like three years to learn how to tell. Sure. <laughs> I feel like I'm still. Yeah. I'm. Those. Yeah. I feel like I'm after ten years. I'm still learning. But, totally. Um. But yeah, it was super fun. All right. Well, Dave Ross, everybody, straight people, uh, <laughs> like us uh, on uh, all the platforms, and uh, if you want to fucking write a review on Apple, I don't know why that's so fucking important, but it, it is. Fucking is, isn't, isn't it? it? It's like what the fuck? It's you weird. Know? Yeah. But uh, anyways, uh, you know, if you're gay, uh, God bless you. If you're straight. 
Keep trying, guys. <laughs> Just keep trying. You guys will get it one day. Thank you. My name's Ian Neighbor. Bye.